Draw rough sketches on the white paper by using traditional pencil scale and the compass. This is the most common process used by the most professionals before creating a logo and digitalize it. This process makes easier to create a unique and creative logo. After drawing the sketch, take a pic from the top and bring it to the software. And now let me log this image. Now take rectangular tool and here draw a rectangle from here to here. And now let me align it to horizontally center and unlock it. And let me align this one to horizontally center. And now lock it again. Now select this one and remove this fill color. Keep outlines only. And take this direct selection tool, select this anchor point and move it towards right hand side by pressing uh, arrow key on your keyboard. And similarly move this one. Now take ellipse tool and here draw an ellipse. Drag it a little bit. Let me take a little bit up. Now select them, take shape builder tool, choose color and make a shape here. And now remove this fill color, keep outlines only. Now take ellipse tool by pressing shift and alt key on your keyboard, draw a few circles here. Now select it, control C, control shift B and make duplicate and make more circles so let me choose different outline color so that it would be easily visible for you And here also draw one circle like this. And one here. Now select it. Go to object, path, offset path. And here give some negative offset. And click OK and take it down. Now take pencil tool and draw the shape from here. Now take ellipse tool once again and here draw an ellipse. Now make duplicate, control C, control shift B and take this one down. Now go to object, unlock it and move the behind picture. Now select this one and fill with color. Select this one and fill with color. Select this one and fill with color. 
and remove the outlines fill with color select this one and fill with color remove the outlines and for this one also select color now bring this one at the top bring this one also at the top now select this one and fill with color and remove the outlines now select this one and fill with color and remove the outlines now select this one and fill with color now what I'm gonna do is select this circle this one and take shape builder tool and choose color from here and make a shape here now select it and remove the outline color now select this one this one and take shape builder tool from here choose color and make a shape here Now select those unnecessary lines and delete it. Now select this and remove the outline. For this also remove the outline. Remove outline. Now select this one and give black color. Now select this two, take shape builder tool, choose color and make a shape here. Delete it. Now select it, edit, copy, edit, paste in place and now you can change color and uh, remove this fill color keep outlines only and from here increase the stroke and take this scissor tool and from here cut it here cut it here now select this and delete it select this one go to object expand click ok and change the color to black so remove this outline color give the fill color black now select this edit copy edit paste in place and from here change the color and now drag it little bit now select this one add it copy add it paste in place and select this one take shape builder tool change the color and make shape here and select this one and delete it now select it and change the color now take this text tool and write a text here now select this and uh, change the font from here select these two objects by pressing shift key go to object path offset path and give some negative offset and now give gradient color now by using gradient options fix the angle
Similarly, select this down one and fix the gradient color angle. Similarly, select the text, object, path, offset path and give negative offset here and give gradient color. So here I'll change uh, color in gradient so that it can match up and now fix the gradient color angle. So now we are done. Hope you like this tutorial. You can support us by doing like, share and subscribe. Thank you.